What is up you guys? My name is Dennis and welcome to Playbook. Alright, so thank you very much for sticking around. I just finished the part 1 of Karma is an Army and right now I am proceeding to part 2. I didn't really want to continue with this video because I can't stand the robot voice but upon seeing the content, the actual content of the video, I got more and more interested, more and more curious as to what people are saying. So here we go. Oh, by the way, before I proceed with my video, I would like to encourage everyone to please subscribe to my channel. I'm a new YouTuber-ish, and I'm just in the process of growing my community here on YouTube, and I would really, really appreciate it if you'd be a part of this journey with me. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate your presence and your time here in my channel. Here we go. Credits to Shukga, by the way, for this video. Again to fill your army ego. First of army all, ego. this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And excuse me for grammar mistakes. Cause we be new I sucks in English. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, now let's I cringe. <laughs> Before Big Hit announced BTS Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. Some people think BTS will never perform in a big stadium like Rossabowl, but after Big Hit announced BTS Stadium Tour, they started to doubt if BTS will ever sell out the show. Can they even fill the stadium? Are they sure they have a fan these here to sell out posts, the posts, these doubters you posted this speech. one just 2019, just this March. Tomorrow. Looking forward to the downfall. I mean, haven't BDS proven themselves at that time already? Like, why would you still question them if they can fill an entire stadium? Like, really? Wow, France. And Soldier Field is also sold out in no time. In conclusion, BTS just sell out five stadium concerts in less than a day, oh my resulting God. in an overall sellout over 300k seats in one day. StubHub also announced that BTS Love Yourself World Tour this is a world domination tour of the year, and it is also their third biggest in history. And it's not over yet. A day after BTS sell out their tickets, BTS announced additional concert dates for sold out stadiums on Love Yourself Speak Yourself Tour. So BTS will have a two-day show in Wembley, State de France, Rosabowl, MetLife, and Soldier Field. And on March 8th, BTS sold out their second date at Wembley Stadium, with approximately 180k tickets sold. In fact, the demand for second day show is more than the first one. For their first day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 245k, what? and for their second day show, the people who were waiting in the queue were 271k, oh my God. which is 30k more than the first day demand. And BTS not only sold out their second day show at Wembley, but also sold out at State de France and Rossabowl. On March 11th, tickets for BTS show in Brazil also sold out in less than two hours. More precisely, one hour 15 minutes, resulting Damn. in an additional second date show in Allianz Park. Following their first day success, BTS second date show were sold out in just two hours. After sell out those stadiums, BTS broke the record of the most attended world tour for a Korean artist, with over 1.8 million attendance with 50 shows. BTS did that. Who and held that record previously, legends. by the way, before BTS Let's broke that record? The next case. I am curious. The most ridiculous thing I've ever heard <laughs> is people assuming BTS popularity will going down just because of TXT, and they really have an earth what is TXT? to think that BTS comeback will be flawed. We don't need a Lame Amipedia sheet to stay relevant. We all know their global comeback is gonna flop so hard, they're already losing hype. Dude. Actually, many of you don't realize it, but it's a good thing TXT is getting a lot of attention. It means that a lot of armies are leaving BTS for TXT, which I don't means even know who BTS TXT is. is. Success is going downhill. It's just the beginning. I'm so excited. 
<laughs> okay. uh. I'm sorry, but even recording Academy said BTS are unlikely to slow down any time soon, and I have to agree with that statement. Because BTS pre-order sale for their new album is rapidly increasing. In just 24 hours, Map of the Soul Persona reached 56k pre-orders on K-Town for you. Meanwhile Love Yourself tier only reached 20k, and Love Yourself Answer only reached 27k pre-orders in the span of 24 hours on K-Town for you. It means Persona pre-order is almost twice as much as Answer pre-order, and it's from K-Town for you only. Not long after Big Hit opened the pre-order, Persona immediately rank number one on Cinera, and also rank one on Amazon. Meanwhile there's a cuter pre-order persona on Aladdin, because there's so many people who wants to purchase at the same time. Even buying an album is like ticketing now ha 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 ha. Also until March 16th Chinese Army's pre-order reached 278k copies, which consist of pre-orders from faint sites, online shops, and individual orders, and Beidou Jungkook Bar is the first fan base to reach 50k album pre-orders in less than 4 days. For the latest update, Persona is currently number one bestseller on Amazon US, number one on Amazon Canada, number four on Amazon UK, Damn. and number one bestseller on K-Town for you with approximately 121k copies. And not only excellent pre-order sales, BTS also reportedly will be the musical guest on SNL on April 13th. This will be their worldwide comeback with the global stage, to reveal new track performance for the first time on SNL. We can say this is an upgrade from the last time, when BTS made a comeback on BBM as. This comeback also gained so many attention from Western media, they all collectively promoting BTS like there is no tomorrow ha 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 ha. Oh, so, I wish BTS this robot didn't laugh. Well, it kills the hype. Mayo. No one doing it like BTS indeed. <clears throat> BTS can't even get a pack. Oh shut can up. BTS stands get a job. What you are doing? Isn't reviving your fave's dad career. Dad Go career? Go songs that man even got a pack. You're a pass will just die I try. But they will never come near what this other group has achieved. So sleep and take some growth vitamins. First of all, strong power thank you for encouraging armies to stream. What a supportive queen clap 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 clap. Anyways, just a day after, BTS finally achieves their first ever perfect all kill with fake love. Those hate comments didn't age well, and Karma is indeed an army. Wow, it is a top Google search. Chang Olympic? At first we thought BTS were not invited to that event, and some people were clowning BTS because of it, but it turns out that BTS were actually invited by the executive director Song Sun Hwan. They wanted to bring BTS to the Olympic closing, and they tried to cast BTS since 2017 but was unable due to the possibility of BTS overseas schedule. And after that Jin suddenly uploaded a video of him chilling with some chickens at a farm, which means BTS didn't have an overseas schedule at that time, and other fandoms were mad about it, they said BTS were lazy and so on. But then again, BTS couldn't perform on the Olympic, because of the possibility of overseas schedule. A possibility, so it wasn't a confirmed schedule in the first place, and after the whole thing about the Olympic, some people who still salty were so sure that BTS wouldn't get any award at KMA. Since today most armies are celebrate the Karma is army for that Olympic news, tomorrow our fandom can celebrate and drag BTS army down for not getting D sang at Korean Grammy KMA. Have fun tomorrow. Well, stay pressed, because BTS actually win Musician of the Year at KMA 2018. Wow. This is the first time for K-pop idol to win such award. Not only that, in February 26, 2019, BTS got Musician of the Year award for the second time, and they also got Song of the Year Three award awards. Best Pop Song award at KMA 2019. I'm not saying that BTS just made history, but that's exactly what I'm saying. Ha 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 ha. If they are so great, why does not the president send celebration to them? It's just a political offense. They said they are already worldwide. But why haven't the Korean president acknowledged them? The difference between nations pick and social artists are too much. Nations pick based on talent. You have a lot of things to say. By their own country, while social artist, based on most retweets on Twitter, because irrelevant in their own country. Maybe they forgot that the GP was upset with that UN speech because it came off as them promoting their music. 
First of all, it's so unnecessary to bring up politics into fandom war. Well, that, Second of all, it's that's so what haters do. They BTS do unnecessary things. Namjoon for his UN speech. It was a really important speech. And even if Namjoon talking about their music, it is because it was relevant for the topic. And actually, UN speech by BTS is... I want to watch this video also. Curriculum in various UN speech. Countries. The response from Korean netizen also really positive. They are fascinated at Namjoon's speech. They feel proud. And they really appreciate how diverse BTS are. And as a gift of their UN speech, BTS received custom watches from President of South Korea. Whoa. The watches have the President's signature inside the face. And an inscription on the back reads putting people first. Considered to be the President's philosophy. President Moon Jae-in also congratulated BTS philosophy. for topping Billboard 200 chart with Love Yourself Tear. He appreciate the sincerity of BTS's dance and singing. He also appreciate them for their melody and lyrics which transcend regional borders, language, culture, and institutions. Exactly. He also said it really that transcends BTS language for a long time. So BTS is actually well appreciated by the president. But in October 10th, 2018. A petition demanding for BTS disbandment was filled to the Blue House. Over 3K Koreans have signed for that petition. And apparently it was because of the issue about BTS military service extension which isn't true at all. BTS oh. were just an object of South Korean politician for military extension debate. BTS themselves said they will definitely enlist for military service to clear the rumors. And in October 14th, which is just four days after that petition, BTS attend Korea France companionship concert in Paris. President Moon also attend the event and they meet at that place. BTS also extended their contract with Big Hit for seven more years in October 17th. They basically showing those people that a petition couldn't stop them for reaching their dreams and continue to do what they love. The petition even seems like a joke after BTS awarded Order of Cultural Merit by Korean government in October 25th. They become the youngest recipients for the award. And recently, BTS were added into South Korean national anthem. All of those things proves that BTS is indeed well respected, well appreciated, and they are indeed national treasure in South Korea. <coughs> That's it for today's right, episode. So. And please remember that we shouldn't underestimate any other group or fandom. We don't need to do the same thing as they do. And the comeback is really near. There will be so many people who will discrediting BTS and armies, but just ignore, and we will prove them wrong when the time comes, because Karma is army, and she loves BTS. Thank you for watching, and I'm sorry if I offended anyone. Love yourself, love myself, peace. Alright, so that ends the second video of Karma is an army. Um, I like the fact that it is the top suggested Google search for karma is because usually it's karma is a bitch but now karma is an army it's a top Google search I find one comment very ironic because one of the haters said that this is not verbatim but one of them said that um, BDS army who stands BTS should get a job instead um, I think haters should get a job because they have a lot of time in the world. What do you accomplish when you hate people? What is there to prove when you hate people? You're just embarrassing yourself in the entire world. You're stressing other people out. And you're, you're spending so much energy from yourself to stress yourself and stress other people. Who needs that? It's just... Once again, I think it's so hilarious for these people to act the way they do. And I find it very, very unnecessary, very and incredibly immature. I don't know, I hope these people would turn it around because it really is a toxic way to spend even a second of your day to hate other people. Upon watching these two videos consecutively, I actually gained a whole new respect for BDS ARMY who would stand by BDS no matter what. It is sometimes very toxic, sometimes very draining to deal with people who throw so much shade, so much hate to BTS themselves. But the very idea that it unites the army stronger than ever is very commendable. I really, really salute you guys for being the way you are because it's not easy. It's not easy to deal with haters, to deal with bashers, to bullies even. And 
You guys have been doing that for so many years now. I really genuinely salute you. I am amazed. I am in awe of your resilience to these people. So continue what you're doing. I am sure that BTS appreciates more than appreciates. I mean, appreciate is an understatement. I mean, there's a reason why they love you guys, and I really salute you. I admire the love affair that you guys are having. Continue it. So that is it for my reaction video for Karma is an Army Part 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you soon.